guys, Akris here again, we're playing uh, This War of Mine, it's a like, uh, click and point game uh, on Steam. It's pretty fun, I played this before and it's alright. It's quite difficult though, you've got to get through day by day of a war that's going on. And uh, <clears throat> you got to try and survive for as long as possible to the end of the war, and stuff like that. Hmm. So, I need to... I don't know. Shit. Didn't check my audio there. Wonder what was going on there. Oh, that was okay. Hold on. Testing. Make sure that's all okay. Uh. Microphone settings. Fuck. First, epilogue. Try some stuff here. <laughs> the war is over. Is it? No. Oh, okay, I've done this before. I don't see that again. <laughs> okay. 45 days. Okay, so we start from 45 days. Uh... Yeah, load that one. Load. Start. Ah, oh. there's your call. <laughs> okay, so basically, you just gotta try and survive as long as possible. Gather a ton of materials and resources so you can actually craft stuff and build up the defenses of the house so you can protect yourself from uh, raids and give yourself some better weapons and tools and stuff so you can raid other places and stuff like that so we're starting off with at least four people uh, okay so <clears throat> the war has been raging for countless months and it's just besieged the city which has reduced to a sea of ruins con by constant shelling going outside during daylight is like inviting snipers to target practice. Everything in short supply and that's and what little raids reaches the city is seized by the most ruthless and most best armed. Few residents are lucky enough to flee. The lucky ones who miss the ref refugee convoy are left to fend for themselves. Ordinary people hiding in the ruins relying only on their each other to survive. Okay. So Pick a character and pretty much just go and go in the house and do stuff. Okay, so get them to search all these places here. Take all these. Alright. And grab all that. What did I Ah, shit. Whole mouse thing's all screwed up. Uh, let's go check out this place here. Grab all that. Uh, get this person to go downstairs to check this door, even though it'll probably be locked. Let's see. Uh, okay. Get this person to go check this door. Get this person to unlock this door. Uh, okay. Check this junk up here. Okay. And let's get this person to check upstairs here. No, get up here. Okay. Okay, you can check this door here. Oh wait, you can't. Okay, you check there. And you check there. <laughs> uh, so those doors up there are closed. Take all those, exit. Dig through that junk there. 
So we've got one food there. And hopefully every few days people will arrive at the door and hopefully give you some stuff or you can help people who come to you for help. Which is pretty good. Uh, yeah. Get you to go there. You to come check this here. Probably can build a few items or something here. Take all that. Exit. There we go. Hopefully we've got some good items uh, to start building some decent stuff. Because we need to barricade the house and uh, build some uh, comfort, like beds, chairs, and whatnot. Okay, so we need one at least enough beds for everyone to sleep on. Or we get a simple heater for the winter. Yeah, so let's make a bed. Uh, place that there. You check there. Okay. Take all that. Not too sure where this person's going, but go down to there. Hopefully be able to uh, unlock it. <laughs> okay, so improve the workshop. This will help us. Okay, so you can go and sit down. She can try and open this door if it's not locked. Okay. So the bed's made. She's not, ah, she's not tired. Okay. Open this door. Check this. And... Hey, it's unlocked. Got pick lock tool. So I can send you down to unlock this door. Uh, probably could have unlocked that door, but I'm not too sure. Unlock this door. And scummage through the junk. And I think night time starts at like uh, 8 pm or 6 pm. I'm pretty sure it's 6 pm. No. Okay, so it's going past 6 pm, so it must be 8, 8 pm. Can't really unlock that door, right? Shoosh. So, if you can build them like shovels and that, you can actually get through all this junk faster. Which can be pretty useful. Let's see if we can build stuff. Okay, so we can build barricades and stuff. We need metal workshop, because that'll help us build like weapons and tools that we need. Um, so we can get all the necessities first, and then we build barricades and shit. Shoid. Ah, uh, place. Come on. Dig through that shit. And it's also important to check with the cards here as well. For their health. And stuff. Don't know why those ones are missing. Okay. The knight. There we go. Okay, so you can send people to different places. And there's different risks to what places you go to. So let's go to Shelled Cottage for the night. We don't have anything that will help us protect ourselves or anything like that, so... we just scavenge as we are. Okay, so we've got to be extra sneaky quiet, because there could be people inside these houses. And you don't want to really meet these people sometimes, because sometimes they'll just try to kill you and stuff like that. Okay, we've got a ton of stuff there. So we'll take materials. Need a ton of materials. As well as a ton of wood. 
I'm gonna check through this letter box here. See if anyone's there. Nope. Okay, we're in the clear. So I'm gonna check through all the stuff, see what we can get. Even though I've already filled up my inventory already. So you can get water, sugar, and food. Which is kind of necessities as well. Okay. There's also like detection meters as well. If you check through stuff. Which can tell you if there's going to be someone coming or not. Or if someone's there. Although it's quite hard to tell sometimes because like... Uh, sometimes rats will be there. Okay, so that door's locked. See that red, red dot there? Or that red pulsating thing. So I'll probably dig like halfway through it and come back later. Do have to dig straight all the way through it. So if you can build a shovel later, that'll be fine. And the shovel goes through it much faster. <coughs> you also gotta be careful of this noise that you see, this ring. That's just noise. So I'll just leave it at that one. Check through that. And it's only just wood. Okay. So let's run to exit. And that'll be the end of the night for that one. And we can keep coming back for the more materials there, so it doesn't matter. So it'll always be there. Unless someone else came along and scavenged it and then you have to find somewhere else. Haha! -ha! Okay, okay. So pretty good stuff. Ash. Uh now you can sit down. You can go build stuff. You can finish this. Okay, so we want to build some really crude stove so we can catch cook stuff in there. Good stuff. And this person to check this here. Okay, so we can't upgrade the workshop yet, but we can build some tools. So we'll build a shovel. That'll take some time to get all this. Maybe we can get you to come down and finish this off. So this, the tool workshop, if you're able to like build uh, lock, lock picks and stuff, which comes really handy. So, 18 plus Celsius or 60 hex Fahrenheit. I prefer Celsius, because why not? Okay, go back. Where are you going? Oosh. I need to build a pick lock. You can build knives as well, which can be useful. Okay, so. Get this person to cook something. Uh, make some consum consumables. Okay, that's locked. So it's best to try and work upgrade your workshop as best and quickly as possible because I'll unlock more stuff for you hmm. okay so we can't make any more stuff there try and break that open with the crowbar and the crowbar can be pretty useful but it's quite noisy as well for unlocking stuff that are locked Shoo. Okay, so we've got meds, sugar, and ammunition. Okay, good enough. So I can use the crowbar many times before it breaks. Kind of stupid though that that crowbar can break after so many uses, but yeah. Oof. You built anything? Nope. Okay. Um. 
you to see if you can upgrade. Okay, so we need 20 materials here. 10 of these and 5 of those. Uh, so. Okay, I'll make one of them just now. Okay. Okay, we've got diamonds, we've got another lockpick, and more food. Whee! Now that's done. Could probably. Uh, so who's hungry? Slept poorly. Slept poorly. Hungry. Uh, it's hard to read the text sometimes. Tired. Yeah. Hungry. Tired. Slept poorly. Hungry. Okay. Hungry. Shitey. Okay. Pick. Open up. I'll get you to eat something. Probably get to make stuff if there's materials. Okay, there's not enough materials for that. So we we'll just have to go back to that place we were brought before. Grab some more materials. Uh, you can go in there. Get this. So they've got the shovel now. And you get through that jug much faster. Huh. The most important essentials to build is uh, <coughs> medicinal uh, chemistry set. Medicinal and chemistry set are pretty much the most needed. Ah, I've already built that way. Okay. Okay, you unlock this door, get some materials out of there, good stuff. <coughs> and check it out. So, we've got bandages, knife, and ammunition. Excellent. So we've got ourselves a weapon. Saves us from having to build a knife from the workshop. And if you do, if you do happen to get raided, uh, they can take everything, like uh, your food, your medicines, bandages, and whatever. Uh, have you go down to here? You can sit down. Probably just go to here. So I always gotta try and leave someone near the door if I can, because people will come to the door at a certain time. But since it's already past that time, uh, they usually come around like 12 o'clock and stuff like that. So, forward the night. So, who can we pick to send at this time? Could probably send it Zaita to scavenge. Um, sleep in bed. Sleep. Okay. So we're going to go back to the shared cottage. And we're going to take some stuff. Okay. So we'll take this crowbar and we'll take this shovel. Okay, okay. And it's useful to run when you need when you need to run, because then you can get away faster. But then it also makes a lot of noise, so you gotta be careful which ones you do before you do it. Ciao. Okay, so take all the food that we can. Water helps as well. Try and shovel through some junk if we can. Take all the sugar. Okay. So I'm trying to to get this shovel a bit more. Okay. Come down here. Shovel this. <coughs> it gets through much much faster. So you always gotta be careful with these rats because you can sometimes mistake them for people sometimes. Okay, let's bust that thing open. It's kind of interesting how they got the ske sketchy look. It's a really nice art style for it. <coughs> okay, so we've got bandages there, ammunition, 
those. Oh, Moonshine's quite good because you can sell that for a high price and get other items by trading. And let's bust this thing open. Push. Okay. And here we go. Search. One of the flowers dropped below on the city. It reads, "This is the zone of anti-terrorist operation. Persons remaining in the city will be treated as terrorist supporters. For your own and family safety, leave Pro Progan immediately. The army guarantees you a safe passage." Not so many believed them after the atrocities they had committed. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, can take that. Check here. And you've always got to get back home before uh, 5 p.m. Otherwise, it's unsafe. And it takes them forever to come back. <clears throat> Quality roll-ups are very good. But the homegrown tobaccos are much more better because you can make these roll up stuff, which helps people trade for better items. So, let's run to the exit. She here? That's not home, is it? Yeah. Zalata is back. Okay. Good stuff. Day three. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. The night was calm. Okie dokie. You can take a seat. You can try and build stuff if there's materials. Okay. Okay, so we can build that. Uh who have we got? Okay. What can you build from here? Nothing. Okay. You can go upstairs and try and make some dinner stuff. Pretty much don't have anything for giving. Okay. I think someone might come today to the door. 7.20 a.m. They'll probably come around uh, 9 a.m. or something like that. Until 12 p.m. or something like that. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played this actually. In my own spare time. So, okay. I haven't really got anything else to scourge through. So, yeah. Hungry. Eat some food. This person. Bio. The army is trying to break the rebels' morale with an incessant bombardment, but in the si it's the civilians like us that suffer the most. When you've been under fire for so long, you learn to predict a mortar shell will fall by the sound it makes. I'd never ha have thought about it. But one fatal day, fateful day changed everything. Okay. So you're hungry, you can go and eat something. You take a seat. Uh, you can go and sleep in the bed. Not tired. What? There's someone out there. Someone out there. Okay. Let's trade. What can we trade for? Okay, so we can get bandages, uh, coffee beans, stuff like that, <clears throat> herbs. But we've got to trade back stuff in return for these sort of things. Uh, so let's take that. Coffee. Coffee is really good. So it'll help you get through stuff better. Okay, so we can get some. We need some of this. If we can. Okay, we can't take any more. Okay, we need. Trade one of these. Uh, we could trade two of these, and 
Sugar is pretty common to come by. Okay. He's not happy with that. Okay. What else can we give? I don't want to give him too much. I don't know. Maybe reduce this amount. Because some of these items are too expensive, like the the bandages. Uh. Shit. What can I trade off? See, he's very fucking demanding and stuff like that, which is kind of annoying. Weapon parts. We could probably just take care of all that stuff. Won't do it. Try hard. That's stupid. Ah, uh, just get all the weapon parts. Okay, that will have to do. I fucking hate how they're so shitty with the fucking deals and stuff. Okay, she's, she's only good for meds and stuff, so I need someone who's good with bartering. Okay, uh... Bolster spirits. Strong world. So I don't have anyone right now who can actually help us with this stuff. What's it going to be? It's going to be... Shut the door in your face and walk off. Oh wait. Gotta go back. Good for you. Okay. So that's that. I send you to go and get this. Okay, so we build some... You can build a radio because that will help us figure out what's going on, going on in the city. Should be good to put it somewhere everyone can see it. Like there. Place. Or wait, no. Okay, um. Yeah, go back to here. Build the radio. Make it up here. Okay, place. Probably try and see if we can make this thing here. We've got enough materials for that. Okay, so we need 30 of these, only about 8, 6 of those, so 15, 5. Okay, we're not doing too bad. Quick, run, boom. And we need to try and build some barricades as soon as possible. But the main thing we need to try and get is the medicinal plant stuff. Which is our essentials for surviving long enough. So we need 14 of those. Two of these cog things. Yeah, herbal workshop. Herbal garden. Uh, yeah. So the herbal garden you can grow vegetables and, and other stuff there. Fertilizers. <clears throat> Herbal matches and bandages, alcohol, water collector, small traps for co collecting animals like rats, which is good stuff. So once that radio is built, you can listen to it. Getting fresh vegetables in Porygon has become more difficult than ever. Most of the transport trucks fall into the hands of the military or the rebels. The rebel spokesman informs that some districts might become inaccessible due to civilians, inaccessible to civilians because the government forces are planning to storm the city. Their hope to end the fighting there for, before the international inter intervention. Okay. I kind of wish there was more backstory into why there was a war started and everything. It's just like some random war stuff. Uh, so yeah. 
So let's just end the day for there. And who can we send out this time? Okay, we can send her to scavenge, Sarah. Um, okay, I want to go back to the shell cottage because of the stuff that is there. Check what other places are okay. Okay, so those are okay. So let's go to there. We shouldn't need a shovel this time, I think. Uh, so, yeah, so we need all the space that we can get to, get to collect as many things as possible. So we need to get some ma processed materials. Where are you going? Okay. Visual. Okay. Check this fridge. Good materials. Actually, we could probably do good without food for now. So we get some resource materials if we can. Should help us much better. Check this bed, should be some materials. Okay, so we've got bandages, we'll take that. Any medicinal herbs. Go downstairs and check this cabinet. I can't remember if there was good materials in there. <coughs> okay, we'll take some moonshine. And some ammunition. Actually, probably should have just take the bandage as well. Okay, so we can hurry through this as quickly as possible. Spend as little time as possible to get everything that we need. Okay, so we've got enough wood there. Got wood. <laughs> and get as much of this as possible. Okay, so we've got enough of that. To get any decent other materials there, like the cog stuff. Yeah, so there's plenty of materials here, and wood. And... Okay, so there's cog materials there. I could probably drop something off for now. I'll come back for the moonshine, but we need this cog material. Uh, I'll leave the ammunition. Take these. Got enough of that for now. Okay. Books can be pretty useful as well because you can use that for fire fuel. So let's go back home. Hopefully, we haven't been raided. Because that would be a terrible thing if we'd have. Sarah is back. She. She's back. Okie dokie. Day four. Uh, yeah. So I'll probably complete one more day and we'll finish the episode there. Okay. Ah, shit, we were raided. They stole food, ammunition, and water. Fuck. Okay. I was kind of hoping we didn't get raided, but... Okay, if we get this barricade up, make that, uh, speedy run there. Okay, see if we can build any helpful resource stuff. Because we really need that medicinal herb stuff. Okay, so we can build the medicinal herbs. Should place this here. Go build that. Can we upgrade the workshop actually? If we can upgrade, that'd be good. Does that help us out? Okay, so we need two. We've got five cogs. We need 15 of those, 30 of those. Okay, so lock picks. Just make one of them. Make some food if we can. Okay, we can't make anything there. Okay, uh, hungry. I think... Yeah. She's very hungry. I'd save the food for the very hungry rather than the ones who don't need it. Okay. Without food, we'll die. We'll search for hard. Okay. Getting food is priority. Yep. 
Okay, so whoever's very hungry can get food. Go downstairs. <clears throat> See, we can build here, so we can get homegrown tobacco there. Make a dozen of them. Oh, someone's at the door. You can just go and get the door. Uh, we can't make anything there for now. Hi there, neighbors. Okay. What do you want? Let's see. Good day, look down the street. Hope you notice live in the Bend Village <coughs> building. I've got some news. There were some humanitarian drops, humanitarian airdrops last night. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's go and help them out. Because this can this can benefit us greatly. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Doing the herb thing, you have to be actually there to do stuff. Okay, so the next thing to build is the herbal garden. Uh, so what do we need for that one? Two of those, 30 of those, and 30 of those. Okay, that's going to be quite difficult getting 30 of each, but we'll have to make two night trips for that, I think. Or three. Okay, so we can end the day there. <coughs> we can send out Jordy to Shelled Village. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we've still got all those. Just scavenge. We can forget food for now. Forget food for now. I need to get these. If I can get the herbal stuff set up, that'd be better. Because that, that throw of centos right there, because that can give us food and stuff that we need. She. Okay, so we need these. Probably have to make a dozen trips for these. Leave that from there. Okay, search fast. 9.40, okay. Get as much of these as possible. I think there's a thing over here to get. Just checking. Okay. So we'll probably take, just take all the wood stuff for now. That we can manage. Okay, let's run to the exit and get back home. Shoo-hoo! Actually, hold on, let's check this here. See what you can get from here. Because we'll always come back to this. Okay, so there's two cog machine stuff there. And electrical parts. Let's go! Jordy is back! Back! Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, leave the episode here, break up to day five, and I'll continue from there in the next episode. And uh, hope you enjoyed watching this one. I'll probably do more of this one because it's quite enjoyable. Stuff like that. Hey. <coughs> okay, so the night was calm and stuff like that. Uh, so I'll see. I'll check what we can build here, and then we can finish off there. So we'll build some more barricades. And we could probably feed her because she's very hungry and uh, get her there. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll just leave it here anyway. So, I'll pick it up in the, in the next episode. So, thanks so much for watching. Hope you liked it. Hit the thum thumbs up. <coughs> English. Hit the thumbs up if you really liked it. And I'll probably try to do some more. I probably will anyway, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Ah, shit. <laughs>